Just describe your style of play, what you'll bring to your new team, and then we'll open it up to qu more questions, please. I think uh, I'm a you know, big guy. I can run the floor, play defense, uh, switch from one to five, uh, shoot the ball. I think that's really important. And, you know, spread the floor, sp spread the floor for the guards, and that's it. Congratulations. What's going through your head when you're walking to the podium? I was speechless, nervous, excited, you know, everything in one. And I'm just blessed to be part of San Antonio and I'm happy and ready to go. Um, can you tell us what you know about the San Antonio Spurs? Have you watched them play much, etc.? Yeah, I, I think they have a really similar basketball style like Europe and they have a long history with European players. So that's one more motive for me to just, you know, go there and try to be ready as, as much as possible and you know, just to play. Uh, if I may, uh, Tom Beller from The New Yorker, congratulations. If I can build off of that last question, specifically Coach Greg Popovich, one of the most well-known and accomplished coaches in the NBA. I'm also famously one of the most demanding. I'm wondering what thoughts you have about going to work with him and, and his team of player development coaches. I think uh, working with Coach Pop, it's different and, you know, bet, I, I'm just really excited to start and just to learn from him and from other players older than me and I'm ready. Congratulations. Um, how was your workout with San Antonio ahead of the draft? What stood out for you? What stood out um, in your eyes about the organization as well? Uh, it was my first workout with the NBA team. Uh, it was, it was dif difficult. We, ha we, you know, we played a lot of one-on-one -on -one and three-on-three, -on -three, a lot of shooting too, and interviews. And you know, they care about how you are off-court too. So you, know, you have to be the whole package. And I'm just blessed. Tony Pyle, Associated Press. Um, Luca, congratulations. Um, could you just repeat how you felt, but in Croatian, for your Croatian audience, how you felt when your name was selected? Ma nevjerojatno, nisam imao riječi, jednostavno, to je ostvarjenje svakog sna i blagoslo. Luca, congratulations, Justin CBS. For those who are trying to learn a little bit more about your game, who would you compare yourself to in terms of another player? Uh, right now, I think, uh, you know, big guy, KD, big guy who can shoot, who can play face to basket, also low post, but all time maybe Kirilenko, he played in Utah, or, yeah, just, I can run and jump and play defense and just whatever it takes. Luca, Casey Vieira from uh, Sports Tonight in San Antonio. Who are some of the guys, basketball players, some of the role models you had and what did you know about the Spurs before meeting up with them, interviewing, working out with them? Yeah, uh, my idols, I think Tony Kukoc, uh, he's Croatian, Dražen Petrovic too, then right now KD, just you know, all the big guys, and Dražen also, who he just, his mentality was on the next level. And what I knew was, you know, they have winning mentality, they want to win, they want to compete, and they're a great organization, and as I said, connected with Europeans and, yeah. Uh, if I was interested when you mentioned that the interview process in San Antonio included questions about off-court matters. Could you tell us or share with us one of the questions they asked about you that went outside of the actual basketball court? Yeah, it's you know, how I am with my family, how I am with my friends, with teammates, it's on court, but also off court, uh, what I like to do in my free time, uh, how I am in school, and just, you know. Uh, what do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> uh, uh, hanging out with my friends, spend time with my family, you know, music, just movies, you know, simple. Hi, Marco. Alvaro Martini, ESPN. Congratulations. Your dad, Marco, was probably your first coach. Uh, at some point, maybe demanding. Uh, when did it dawn 
in his mind and in your mind that being in the NBA could be a possibility? Uh, first of all, my father was always not just basketball coach. I think more of uh, how to be a good person because he never really pushed me. To, you know, you have to play basketball because he played. I think it was just my choice, and he was more, you know, be a good teammate, be a good person, be good in school. And I think uh, idea of NBA started when I uh, moved to to Barcelona from Croatia the first time, and I was 16. So it was just an idea. And I had this dream since I started. So, Luca, San Antonio is known big for Mexican food, known big for the heat and humidity. Do you like either of those two? Uh, yeah, I, I love Mexican <laughs> food and humidity. You know, it's okay. It's good Mexican food. I can yeah. promise you that. It's real. Good. I love Mexican food. Thank you. Thank you.